Now, just to warn you, this tutorial is going to be a bit of a long one, and it's a very detailed one. It's how to use your spot healing brush. So I'm going to go to File and Open in folder 9.3. I don't know why I skipped a 9.2, but whatever. 9.3, I'll open up this image of this zebra. Okay, and what I want to do is let's say I was doing an ad for a local zoo and I wanted to show obviously some of the wildlife at the zoo, but I don't want to show the wildlife standing behind a fence. It just looks so artificial. Okay, I want people to believe in the nature of of the wildlife so I want this guy roaming free first thing I would do is command J work on a copy not on your original then the second thing I would do is look at the simple areas first like the wall the dirt not all the areas with the stripes that's all the detail I would look at the simple areas and I'm gonna zoom in one or two clicks here hold my space bar for the hand tool and if I come down to the fourth tool down on the right, I have my spot healing brush. And all I have to do is hold control and option. We'll go the brush a little bit bigger than the thickness of that wire. And then I simply click and drag. And when I let go, it will touch up my photo for me. That's pretty seamless. It's pretty amazing how smart Photoshop is. Now, one of the things that uh, you got to be aware of is that when you are doing this, as you click and drag, Photoshop is constantly looking at the surrounding values. Okay, and it's doing a ton of calculations. So what I've kind of figured out on my own is don't rely on Photoshop to be totally perfect. I want to help it if I can. So I try to focus on colors. So right here, I'll drag over the brown part of the wall and then stop, the dark shadow right there and stop, the blue parts of the wall and stop, then the dark shadow and stop, then the lighter gray. Okay, I want to do it in a series of passes. That's just going to make life a little bit easier for Photoshop. If I can see a couple of spots here, I'll just kind of spot over those really quick, get rid of them. So when I come down to the front of this zebra's head, I'm going to go over the wire that's in front of the head, like that. Do it right up to the mane. Then I go over the reddish brown of the mane, then the dark parts of the mane. And if I see a few lines that are left over, I can kind of cross over them like this, almost like combing the zebra's hair. Okay, what you want to do, though, is you want to avoid hard physical edges like the top of the ear okay if i went over it like that it would chop off the zebra's ear so i'm going to go to edit and undo when you have a line running right over a physical edge like the physical edge of the ear leave that for later okay notice i didn't hit the front of the head yet so i'm going to go around the ear go into the part of the mane right here and again, if I can see little telltale signs, I'll go up and down, kind of perpendicular to that, and kind of smooth out some of that detail right there. Now I just go over a few more parts right here, a few more parts I can drag out like this to kind of break up some of that area. Then I go across the wall, then I'll come up to the main, then in the main. Okay, and then, I'm going to come around and keep going around the edges of this zebra. Okay, and here's one thing you got to watch out for. I'm going to undo that last one. When you have this line that is right next to this hard edge of the shadow, you're probably going to pick up that hard edge. You're going to see another hard edge right here. So with the first pass, if I don't like that, I'm going to go to edit and undo. I'm going to save that for my clone stamp for later. Okay, this spot healing brush works good. It is not perfect. Okay, so I'm going to go into the areas where I know it's going to work good, like right here. I don't like that look, so I'm going to make a little mental note to come back to that. 
with my clone stamp in a minute. Notice right here, I get this hard, fake edge, and I don't like that either. So again, make a little mental note to come back with my clone stamp. Then I'll get rid of all the other lines through the dirt right here. Get rid of the lines through the dirt right in here. Take some of that shadow out, there we go. And let's break up this wire right in here. Okay, we'll come over here, break some of that. And again, I don't like what a lot of this is doing. So to compensate for that, like I said up here, it just wasn't working at all. I'm gonna switch to my clone stamp. And now what I can do is option click down below, let's say right here, come up and I'll paint up here. Option click down below, paint above, option click to the right, paint over to the left. And that looks a lot more seamless. I don't like these two little spots that I got right here. So option click the shadow, paint more shadow over those spots. If I don't like how hard the edge of the shadow is right here, I go with a larger soft brush. I can option click here and just kind of gently paint out that edge right there to smooth it out. Um, option click down here and just smooth out that hard edge right there in the shadow. It looks a lot better. Option click below, paint up above. Option click below, paint up above. Okay, that looks better. Option click below, just paint a softer edge right over in here just to get rid of some of that. And you have a wire going right across the stomach of this zebra. So again, if I switch back to my spot healing brush and I drag across there, it's gonna look really fake and really flat. So I will undo that. Okay, to give it that rougher, more organic edge, I'm gonna go with my clone stamp again. Option click below and just kind of wave it up and down a little bit just to make kind of an uneven edge right there. And then we can have that looking a little better. Okay, now I've cleaned up all the background areas. Now I come in for the details. So I'm gonna go back to my spot healing brush, go over the main right there. And then I go over little bits at a time because that was a dark part of the ear right there. Then there's the light part of the ear, then the dark stripes. And I just do a couple of stripes at a time just to kind of take note of what's happening, make sure it's working pretty well. I don't want to drag all the way across and then have to look all the way back. So I'll just keep going over these sections right here. And if I see little bumps like this, I just kind of go over that once or twice just to smooth out some of those edges here. There we go. If you notice it's darker and then gradually or dramatically gets lighter, there's a really hard transition to color. I just kind of smooth that out right in there. And here is a problem area over here where the highlight on the back is fading into the zebra. Okay, when colors gradually fade, your spot healing brush is gonna leave a mark. It's gonna leave a really hard edge line right there. So I'm gonna come back to that a little bit later, but I'm gonna keep going here. A few more stripes, a few more. Then when I get to the detail of these guys, I'll do a little bit at a time, just kind of pay attention to what's happening there. It looked pretty good for the most part. Um, let's go over these, then this, then this, and that's looking pretty smooth right there. I like that. Okay, and just as a little mental note, if I zoom in and I don't like that little dark spot, you can see the stripe came down to here, but now it kind of got cut off. Well, I can go back to my clone stamp with a really small brush, option click above and recreate a little bit of that stripe down below right here. Option click above, paint down below, option click below and paint above, and just kind of clean up the edge of that stripe. 
Oops. Let's go back. There we go. Okay, if I notice any bumps in some of the stripes, because you'll notice right there, it went right across those stripes, and that's where I'm getting these little bumps. I go in with my clone stamp, option click below, smooth out the bump above. Option click below, smooth it out above. Option click below, smooth out the stripe above. Option click above, paint down below, you get the idea. And I can just come in and gently touch up these edges. Okay, because I want people to believe, really believe that there was never a wire in front of this guy. So now I can come back to the spot healing brush. We'll continue across these stripes right here. Continue right in there. That's looking good. All of that's looking good. Okay, we'll go across this edge right here. That's looking good. Okay, here's where the stripes have a lot of detail. So I might want to zoom in a little more and use a slightly smaller brush because right there, it kind of melted the stripes together. So Command Z. You could see there's a white stripe that goes across but when i paint here it kind of blocked it off for some reason which looks kind of weird now that was just a happy mistake i kind of like that uh let's keep going if it looks believable leave it okay nobody's gonna know you don't have to be perfect with everything you just have to get it close enough where people won't notice it like a sore thumb it doesn't stick out it looks good even though there was a stripe that went all the way up and then down, nobody would know that, okay? If that personally bothers you, then you go with your clone stamp. Option click the white stripe and recreate more white stripe and just kind of rebuild that little gap. Option click paint, option click and paint, option click and paint option click and paint and just rebuild the stripe yourself okay but in the greater context when people are looking at the entire photo do you really think they're going to notice a very tiny stripe on this guy's leg they won't guarantee it okay unless it really stood out and it doesn't i'm going to take my spot healing brush we'll continue with this area right in here okay brush across these stripes that looks pretty good. Here's a lot of detail in these stripes. What I found is it's a little easier to go kind of perpendicular to the stripes like that because then they start to blend together if you go across and they're kind of at a slight angle. I would go across and then down, cross and down, cross. And then I zoom in to touch up any detail like this weird little bright spot. I can option click and paint over that with my clone stamp. Option click and clean that up right there. And that is gonna be a good leg. There we go. Okay, the only thing left is the uh, bottom of this guy's face. So I'll take my spot healing brush over the brown, then over the white, then over the black. I'm gonna have to touch up that area right there in a minute. Okay, we'll go over a couple more spots right here. There we go. Now I switch to my clone stamp for details. Option click and we'll paint in the end of that stripe right there. Option click and we'll clean up that edge right there. And when I zoom out, this guy's looking pretty good. Okay, I almost forgot the tip of his ear. So with the clone stamp, you wanna zoom in with a really small brush. Option click above paint down below right there option click below paint in the shadow option click above paint the shadow down below right there eh, that didn't look good so let me go from the bottom up there we go just do little clicks at a time option click paint option click paint option click paint little tiny 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 little brush strokes here so I'm rebuilding the edge of that ear. Option click, paint the white. 
option click, paint some of the gray, option click, paint more white, and we'll do a little bit more white right there. Option click the mane and paint that out. And that's going to look pretty good for those ears too. Okay, great. The only other thing I would look at is this lump. It looks like a hard vein in this guy's back. Okay, so what I would try first is your spot healing brush and just go up and down across that and see what that does. Now that didn't look good. So let's try it just on the dark parts right there. There we go. Smooth that out as much as I can first. Ooh, that looks bad. Edit, undo. Okay, for the transition of values, I'm gonna switch back to my clone stamp. But the problem with the clone stamp is if I option click here, how do I know how far to go? Okay, it's just gonna keep adding black all the way up his back. And I want that to be like a highlight. So I'm gonna undo that. And then to transition values, I'm gonna set the opacity of my clone stamp down to about 20%. What that's gonna do is allow me to lightly paint and clone. So right here, I'll do it on this darker transition. Option click below, then I go 20, 40, 60, 80, and I gradually paint out the difference in the colors. Option click, we'll go a little higher right there and just smooth out the transition. Option click, smooth out this transition right here. Option click and smooth that out. Option click and smooth out that transition of value. Then I can go up above. Option click and paint down below. Option click, paint down below. Option click below and paint above. And it's just kind of like putting makeup on a zebra. <laughs> you just want to blush it out. Brush it right out. So now when I zoom out, I've got that softer, smoother appearance to it. If I can see some of this gray in the stripes, I'm going to come back in. Option click. And then brush some of these edges out. Option click. Brush the edges out right there. Option click, brush those edges right up in there. So again, I smooth out the visual transition of these stripes. And there we go. Much smoother appearance on this guy's back. Then the last thing I want to do is give this image a little more contrast. Okay, zebras are black and white. This is more like a dark gray and white or a dark gray and light gray. So I'm gonna to go to image menu, adjustments, levels. I'm gonna take the whites and make them a little bit brighter, not too much, cause then I'm gonna lose all the detail on the ground. You can see it right there. So I might drag a little bit. I'm gonna make the shadows, the darks a little darker. So I get a nice solid contrast on this zebra and maybe the midtones a little brighter right there here's before and after it's minor but it does help build a little more solidity in this image and that is how you're going to use your spot healing brush what i would also recommend is at the end when you're done reset your clone stamp back to a hundred percent for any future editing and there we go before and after before and after all right time to move on